Hello and welcome back to Bookish. Today I want to do a review of Olga Tokarczuk's book, Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead. I read this book in December. It's part of one of the probably the best reading months uh, that I ever had in, in my life. Um, and uh, so I want to do the review of that book. It was one of those books where, you know, once you read it, you kind of, you kind of want to review it. Uh, so on the surface, uh, Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead is a murder mystery. Um, it's set in an isolated uh, mountainous area in within Poland, uh, very near the border of Czechoslovakia. And in this isolated area, a group of men who are connected to one another by a shared hobby begin to die under mysterious circumstances. The main character of the novel, uh, an older woman named Eugenia, Dusceko, that's how I'm pronouncing her name. By the way, she likes to go by her last name, Dusceko, and she hates her first name, Janina. Uh, she and her group of relatively unusual friends and associates get involved in trying to uh, investigate these murders and solve kind of what's going on. So this is my first book uh, by the recent Nobel laureate, uh, Olga Tokarczuk, uh, and I thought it was very good. Uh, I enjoyed the reading experience quite a bit. Uh, I enjoyed the fact that it's set up uh, like a mystery, but in addition to that kind of mystery novel elements and the, and the mystery kind of story, uh, there are some deep philosophical ideas uh, that are explored in the novel, but they're explored with such a, a light touch by uh, Tokarczuk that you don't, you're not slammed in the face by them all the time, and they just kind of accumulate in your mind over time, these kind of significant social, philosophical points that she's making. The story is told from the point of view of Dusceko and what a point of view it is. She is an older woman who lives by herself in a home up on a plateau uh, near the Table Mountains and she lives so close to the Czech border that she can cross the border uh, simply by walking anytime she chooses to and in fact sometimes she crosses the border without realizing she has. In other words, she does so unintentionally and I think there is a symbolic uh, importance to that. Um, she is a part-time English teacher, but she also is a caretaker to the vacation homes of wealthier people from cities in Poland who come to the area in the summertime for vacation. Um, she loves animals. She is a close observer of animal behavior. She talks about her uh, two dogs. Uh, which she calls her little girls almost constantly throughout the book. She's a believer in astrology and she works out star charts and birth uh, charts for uh, people. She doesn't call people, oftentimes she usually doesn't call people by their proper name. She instead comes up with nicknames for them, nicknames like that are essentially just described kind of her impression of them like oddball and dizzy and good news and black coat. Um, and Bigfoot. Uh, these people have these uh, names. She hates hunters and hunting and she does everything she can to try to prevent hunters from being successful. She tips over deer stands out in the woods. She reports hunters for poaching. Uh, whether they have uh, been doing any poaching or not, she sees ghosts. She loves little kids and she loves the poetry of William Blake. Throughout the novel you're not sure if she's crazy you know, the impression you get from her reaction to the way the villagers and the people around her react to her is that they think that she's crazy, but we're not sure if she's crazy or if perhaps she's the only one who really can see the truth uh, of what's really going on. And that adds kind of to uh, the mysterious tone of what's happening. In addition to being a mystery novel of sorts, it's, the novel is also a rumination on things like the relative uh, value of life, human and animal, uh, what life's uh, purpose should be, environmental issues, uh, how we treat the elderly, how we treat people who we think uh, are living on the fringe, uh, aging, uh, consumerism, environmentalism. These are all kinds of philosophical things that are, I think are thrown into the novel. I think at its deepest, uh, drive your plow over the bones of the dead uh, is an exploration of a line that separates life from death and sanity from insanity and society from uh, anarchy. I think that that kind of borderline issue is kind of the deep philosophical thing and that it's a fairly thin line separating all those things. And then also I think it's, a, uh, it's also on a deeper level about the inability to really know 
or truly gain an understanding of anyone else, that in the end, the only person we really know is ourself, and we may even fool ourselves about who we really are. So I think it's a very good book. It's definitely uh, and sometimes beautifully written, and I look forward to reading more of Olga Tokarczuk's uh, novels in the future. Anyway, if you read Drive Your Plow of the Bones of the Dead, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments section below, and as always, thank you for watching.